Okay, well, hello and welcome to the January Macomb Park Board of Commissioners meeting. Uh, and as always, we will start with the approval of the agenda. Is there a motion to approve? Uh, make the motion to Is approve the agenda. Is today's agenda that we're approving? Today's agenda, yes. I would like to uh, remove an item. Okay. Uh, number eight from the agenda. Okay. Since this is no longer a, a state ish uh, requirement. Also, we also have in place, from what I understand, uh, a policy to manage uh, safety issues at this time. Right. Okay. Uh, also, um, if I may, uh, I would like to point out that. Uh, Ordinance 341 listed uh, needs to be changed. We approved that tax levy last under that, so we need to change it to 342. Okay. We could do that, please. That was number 10. That was number item 10. Uh, number 8 was the. I found 8. Okay. Uh, consideration possible action on COVID 19 vaccination testing and face covering policy. So that is uh, going to be stricken from the agenda. Uh, any other? questions or comments uh, regarding the agenda all right with the um, added what Russ just uh, incorporated uh, for uh, uh, striking uh, number eight and adjusting number ten on the agenda is there a motion to approve this was a motion you just need oh to yes I'm oh, sorry is there a second I would have a second well if you you make oh, the motion well first. I'm a second to the <laughs> we'll get there. Is there a motion? motion to approve? All right. All right. There's a second. Um, all right. Uh, moving on all to. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? And the agenda stands approved. All right. So here we go. Moving slow in January of 2022. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, next uh, agenda item, consideration of an action on the minutes from December. Are there any corrections, additions, or deletions? I would like to move that the minutes be approved. All right. The November. Or December? The December meeting, correct. Okay. I yes. will point out that Commissioner Ham did email me and pointed out that I had the wrong date at the top of them, so that has been adjusted. Oh, okay. From what you guys have originally said. Okay, received. great. Thank you. December 16th. Yeah. All right. Is there a second? Second. All right. It has been moved and seconded uh, to approve the minutes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And the minutes stand approved. All right. Bills and transfers and monthly financial statements. Commissioner Ham. Okay, we're at the year the the year end for December 2021. The uh, consolidated fund, the uh, cash on hand at the end of the month what is uh, four hundred and twenty nine thousand seven hundred and ten dollars. Um, we did end the month eighty three thousand seven hundred and five dollars uh, more than the budget expectations, and the year ended two hundred seventy four thousand nine hundred thirty eight dollars better than the budget. For the general fund, uh, we ended uh, December with $498,457. Um, overall, the end of the month, we were $4,727 better than the budget projections in year to, to end. Uh, we were ahead 78,100 of the budget projections. For corporate account, we ended the month uh, $1,263 over budget projections, uh, yet uh, still end for we ended the year ahead of budget uh, by $57,808. Uh, recreation overall ended the month $4,317 lower than budget. The year ended $13,272 ahead of budget projections. Uh, for Lakeview, uh, overall for the month, we ended $515 better than budget and year end um, was uh, $2,751 ahead. Ball four overall ended $225 better uh, for the budget for the month, year end. Uh, we were uh, below budget by $5,146. Uh, special rec. Overall, we ended the month $352 better than the uh, budget projections. Uh, year end um, was $19,293 better than budget. For police, overall, we ended $136 uh, 
better than expected for the month and overall for the year we ended $1,191 better than budget. Payroll wages ended uh, $5,077 more than budget for the month. Uh, but for the year, we ended $52,242 better than the budget. Um, only thing I'd like to note, um, it did happen in January. Uh, it looks like the uh, we received PPRT check for $26,013. That was on January 11th that we received that this year. Okay. Thanks, Russ. Mm -hmm. Are there any questions for Commissioner Ham? All right. If there are no questions, is there a motion to approve the bills and transfers and the monthly financial statements? I make the motion to approve the building chair. All right. Is there a second? A second. All right. It's been moved and seconded. Uh, roll call vote, please. Commissioner Weiss. Aye. Commissioner Edwards. Aye. Commissioner Damage. Aye. Commissioner Ham. Aye. All right. And bills and transfers and the monthly financial statements stand approved as published. Uh, we do not have uh, anyone uh, for open public presentations to the commissioners, so we'll move on to President's report. I've got a couple things here. Um, uh, although I did hear some uh, positive news today uh, that numbers are going down uh, in Illinois, um, but with the uh, coronavirus Omicron variant wrecking havoc, a um, uh, couple things to just go over that, you know, if you, if you do, uh, if you are exposed or potentially exposed to please uh, contact Rachel and let her know, uh, especially if we're getting ready to have a meeting. Um, so, uh, so if it does happen close to a uh, time frame, uh, we uh, potentially will go uh, via Zoom for our meeting. Um, so, because we just, we want to make sure everybody's safe and healthy. So uh, that's all I got to say on that. And then the other thing is uh, that we have a scheduled tour coming up uh, with uh, Campfire Concepts, um, which I'm not sure if you were going to bring up uh, during your report, but uh, so that's kind of exciting. So things are moving ahead um, with those folks. Uh, what is the date uh, for that? Uh, uh, they're planning tour? sometime in February. They haven't set us. Oh, not a certain date, date yet. yet. Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh, and uh, the other thing, real quick, is uh, you may have noticed one of our commissioners is uh, missing today. She, today was. Uh, uh, day one for auditions for the uh, high school musical that she's in charge of so we wish her and the students the best of luck and uh, our attorney uh, Emily Sutton uh, is not feeling well today so she is uh, right here on our phone mm -hmm. on the cell phone here so uh, still participating so we appreciate you uh, doing that Emily um, all right so um, oh and it's our other Emily. Uh, it's her birthday coming up on Thursday. So Hi. happy birthday to Emily Gannage. Yay. Happy birthday. Another trip around the sun. Another trip. <laughs> all right. So, uh, okay. Uh, so that's all I have. Uh, so we'll move on to the director's report. All righty then. Uh, it has been a policy heavy month uh, here at the district, which has been super fun, um, but necessary and happy to get some of the paperwork out of the way for the new year. Working very heavily on pulling together do documentation for the campfire concepts that they have requested for us. Um, they did provide us a timeline of what they anticipate it will look like for us to go through the strategic camp plan. This first half is all the documents that they have requested from us. So been a little helter skelter to figure out where things have been stored and filed but we're getting there so um, there are some items that uh, you know we either have but are super out of date or just things we don't have um, you know documentation of things we've talked about but they're just not written down so uh, an eye opener for things that I think we're going to get from the strategic plan process um, and again very excited to be working with campfire concepts and getting the ball rolling uh, I do get to meet with Jared and his team Thursday, uh, opening day of conference at noon. We're going to have a quick lunch meeting just to kind of touch base and hopefully get um, some more solidified dates for when the tours are going to be and when they're going to start contacting the board and the, the employees and um, 
you know, really digging in deep with us. So excited to, to take on that journey uh, in February. We've had two preliminary meetings with SICKAGE uh, for our audit. Um, we're hoping for a little bit smoother uh, experience with them this year now that they've found all of the documents they needed last year, but um, you know, it's still some growing pain. So um, uh, Chris Frankhauser, our business manager, has been hard at work at that and uh, things seem to be going smoothly so far. I have sent out staff evaluations. Um, and this, uh, what I do for staff evaluations for those who aren't familiar is uh, I give them a self evaluation that they get to fill out. They have two weeks to finalize it and then we do a one-on-one -on -one meeting to talk about their performance for the previous year. So. Um, you know, excited for that. Um, thankfully, I have a, an amazing group of, of people that I have the opportunity to work with, so I, I have no fears in getting to have those one-on-ones with them, which is great. Um, but hoping to have that done by mid-February. I did email you all um, a, a, pre a report from Julie Eggleston, our MCSRA program supervisor. She ha had a class work with her last year in doing a program satisfaction survey with the SRA participants. So um, it's, a, it's a lengthy document, so I won't go into detail about it, but it's a great breakdown of just their experience with the programs that the SRA, what they did participate in, what they didn't, um, and just their overall satisfaction with the programs at this point. So um, a lovely partnership between um, the SRA and WIU and their RPTA department. So again, a powerful partnership that we get to be a part of. Um, had the opportunity to present to the Morning Rotor Group uh, at the Old Dairy not too long ago about some of the updates going on and a very heavy uh, section on the Patton Park project. So um, I brought visuals, which I got made fun of from Jeremy Robinette from, but that's okay. Um, they were all very impressed with some of the work that's being done in the Park District and um, you know happy to, to be able to go out and present to the different groups in our communities. Um, so. Speaking of Patton, uh, the restroom building that we've been long awaiting is installed. It is not complete yet. Um, we did have one piece of the puzzle not get put in. There is a, a pressure tank that was a two, supposed to have been installed that did not make it. Mm -hmm. um, so we are waiting on CXT. They are going to send their own technicians to come and install that to fulfill their end of the bargain, essentially. Uh, just don't have a date on that. But otherwise, phase one is almost done. We're waiting on a pressure tank for a bathroom, but then we're done. So that's very exciting. Um, other than that, our team has been hard at work uh, getting ready for uh, just the multitude of things coming up for the new year. Um, I think most of our attention, besides just the regular day in and day out, has been planning for the Macomb Park District 75th year anniversary, which is May 22nd of this year. Uh, that's a Sunday, so we will be celebrating on May 21st, but they've got a lot of fun ideas. Um, this has been a full staff um, uh, brainstorming uh, session for the last month, so um, you know we're making it a full district um, ordeal. But be on the lookout, there's a lot more to come about the 75th year anniversary of the Macomb Park District. Um, and then last but not least, I mentioned last uh, board meeting, but just a reminder, Next week, I'll be heading up to Chicago on Tuesday as part of my iParks board orientation um, and then our board meeting on Wednesday the 26th and then the conference thereafter. So um, I will be out of town for a little while, but if you need to reach me, I'm available. Oh, and um, Whitney Kristoff, our uh, uh, graphic designer on staff, will be coming to the next board meeting to get pictures mm. of the <laughs> board member who has escaped pictures for the last three years and uh, a new board picture so to get pictures of emily emily molly <laughs> great and the whole board good yes. so look nice well you know you're just going to be put out there i don't know if that happens but <laughs> i was telling reminding myself <laughs> sure <laughs> with that any questions <laughs> for the the um pressure tank is that something that they're going to have to dig to install, it's just attached. Okay, that's mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, good. Same yeah. ground. I was gonna say that ground is not gonna yeah. be easy to dig into. No, no, okay. all the groundwork was done before they got there, thankfully. That's good. Yeah, okay, all right. Well, thank you, mm -hmm. uh, Director Lenz. All right, so we'll move on to the next agenda item uh, consideration and action on the election of the OMA and uh, FOIA officers. Uh, 
so this is something that uh, is required by law. Uh, we have to designate someone uh, to respond to requests or concerns about our open meeting issues and items. Uh, it's related, all related to the um, Freedom of Information Act. N historically, we uh, uh, have our current director, Rachel Lentz, uh serve as our OMA officer, uh, and then our business manager, uh, Chris Frankhauser, uh, to serve as our FOIA officer, uh, which one of them being the other's assistant in the instance that they can't do it. So they just swap it, you know, if that makes sense. So uh, I hope I explained that okay. <laughs> Are there any uh, <coughs> questions in, re in regards to this? Just for the record, did Rachel and uh, Chris both consent to serve those positions? Yes. Okay, then I would like to move that we uh, um, appoint them or uh, uh, ha to those positions, those office positions as OMA and, F and FOIA. Okay, positions is, is there a second? Second. All right, um, uh, just for uh, safety, I'm gonna uh, roll call vote on this. Okay, uh, Commissioner Edwards. Aye. Commissioner Damage. Aye. Commissioner Ham. Aye. Commissioner Weiss. Aye. All right, and it has been approved. All right, well, congratulations. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and on to Chris. He was I'm was sure. <laughs> reinformed that it wasn't yes. going to go to other. Yeah, okay. He was worried. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to skip item number eight uh, from earlier. We discussed that already. So on to number nine uh, consideration and possible action on the whistleblower protection policy. So there's a new state labor and employment law that is now requiring us to have a whistleblower uh, protection policy. Um, uh, whistleblower pro uh, policies are um, basically to, to protect individuals who are reporting uh, activities that they think are illegal or dishonest, unethical, uh, or otherwise improper. Um, so uh, I believe, I'm. Yes, this policy has been sent to the board via email, um, so I hope you all had an opportunity to look through that. Um, uh, it's a very important, I big uh, com uh, component to having this uh, policy. Um, so uh, with that, oh, well, did you want to add anything uh, regarding this? No, um, our friends at iParks uh, provided us with a template, as they do for a lot of our policies. They have a lot of great resources for us to use, so um, uh, Superintendent Armstrong took the template that they provided and crafted what you guys have in front of you, Good. with a, mi a few minor edits from myself. Okay. Good. Uh, so with that, is there any questions uh, regarding the whistleblower policy? All right, hearing none, uh, is there a motion to approve the whistleblower protection policy? Make a motion to approve the policy. All right, is there a second? I'll second that. All right, uh, it's been moved and seconded. Uh, let's go ahead, what's that? Go ahead, sorry. I was gonna say, uh, let's go ahead and do a, um, a roll call for this one as well. I'm gonna just do it for all the policies. Just do it. Sorry. Go big or go home. Commissioner Gamage. Aye. Commissioner Ham. Aye. Commissioner Weiss. Aye. Commissioner Edwards. Aye. All right, it has been approved. Okay, uh, moving on to uh, agenda item number 10, uh, consideration and possible action on ordinance 342, uh, financial controls. So uh, uh, one of the recommendations was outlined uh, in the management letter from Sikich, Sikich. Mm -hmm. Uh, was uh, needed uh, was the need for a written policy um, that uh, outlined our financial control procedures. Uh, again, this policy has been sent to the board, so hopefully, y'all had an opportunity to read through through that. Um, and uh, would you like to add anything with this? Yeah. Um, so, a lot of these things were processes or procedures that we were already following as a staff, it just wasn't in writing. It was something that just was known. Um, and 
you know, through our experience with Sikich, you know, they pointed out that it's proper to have things written down. So anyway, um, yeah. I did borrow a lot of the language from uh, one of our friends at Byron Park District. They have a very good internal financial controls regulations policy and uh, so it kind of just goes through the division of duties, uh, you know, policies for petty cash and uh, just our different purchasing policies. So it's a, it's a great tool for staff to be able to look at and see quickly what our policies are and have something in writing to reinforce what best practice is. So with that, are there any questions? I'd like to just add that uh, I know by being involved with the Park District for so many years that these have been um, followed a lot and they have been written down in some formats. Um, but this does classify each section and makes it a lot clearer for somebody to go to the index and say, hey, I want to know about uh, fixed assets management. What's the policy procedure? And then go right to the page. Mm -hmm. So it does add a little bit more professionalism to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it, it's nice to have a formalized um, pamphlet or Absolutely. You know, policy yeah. right there so they can have it. So I read through it and, and the draft and it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a good one. Absolutely. Good information to follow. All right, so with that being said, is there a motion to approve Ordinance 342 uh, regulating financial controls? I would like to move that right. that uh, be accepted. All right, is there a second? I'll second that. All right, uh, uh, let's go ahead and do a roll call vote, please. Commissioner Ham. Aye. Commissioner Weiss. Aye. Commissioner Edwards. Aye. Commissioner Damage. Aye. All right, and it has been approved. Uh, Open Commissioner presentation discussion of future agenda items. Does anyone have anything they would like to discuss? I know this will be for the February meeting. I will probably be giving some kind of a review of my experience up at the uh, I2. I'm going up to the uh, meetings for park districts and uh, look forward to, I, I did go there for this meeting three or four years ago mm -hmm. and uh, brought back a lot of good information uh, for others to, to read. And I look forward to uh, visiting with other board members that, uh, that I met through the years. So I will give a brief, uh, I would like to be put on the agenda mm -hmm. as, as Absolutely. to give a brief uh, summary of some of the information that I bring back. Very good. Yeah. Awesome. Anyone else? Okay, not hearing any. So uh, our final agenda item, is there a motion to adjourn? Make the motion to adjourn. All right, is there a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And we stand adjourned. I thank you all. <laughs>